most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings what's up my love buds and love muffins is mama love and i am back with a video now, the only reason why you see this chicken because right now this chicken look better than me <laughs> So, I'm going to be preparing this chicken as far as I'm going to uh, fry it a little bit and then it's going to be layered. It's going to be layered in some uh, sauce, tomato sauce, or can I say, might as well say spaghetti sauce or whatever. And I'm going to use, be using mozzarella cheese and then um, that's what we're doing. Parmesan mozzarella spaghetti sauce. It's supposed to be called uh, stuffed mozzarella chicken breast, y'all. So, stay tuned. So here I got my chicken breast seasoning over here. And also I put a garlic powder, black pepper and seasoning salt over in my chicken stir, uh, no, not chicken stir fry, y'all. Uh, chicken fry mix. It's chicken uh, fry mix by Louisiana chicken fry. And uh, I, I what's a little thing, man? Got it uh, in here. I just added a little season in here too. Y'all to make be all cute and stuff. But, and then I have my my eggs, and I'm going to dip each one. I mean, yes, each each breast like so. And the batter of egg that I am going to dip it over in chicken fry mix like so and I'm going to do each one you all until every one is coated every chicken is coated I like to shake them after I uh, you know got the flour on them. So shake some of the flour off and I'll just be putting a few in a pan at a time letting them fry because uh, my skillet's not that big you all and I'll do this until they are all fried and browned on each side okay so you are so you really don't want to brown them too much you want them to look like brown just on each side, you don't want them to fry too hard is what I'm trying to say. Now I didn't flip these over already. I'm going to go ahead. So this is about all I'm making. And uh, this is how it should look. The chicken breast. That's the color we wanted. Next, I'm going to show you how I make my sauce up. Okay, so now as you see, my uh, chicken breast is already brown and fried up real nice. Next, I'm going to go over here into my pan because this is where the chicken going to go. And I'm pouring, y'all, Prego, what is this? Roasted garlic and herb, okay? But I'm going to let y'all know, I'm putting my own little taste on it. And this is what I'm doing. Um, I want it thick a little bit. So... To thicken your sauce, I'm gonna add a little oat, little oatmeal to it. Oats. And I'm adding um my own touch, my um, flavor to it. It might be little chunks of brown sugar, y'all, because my sugar got kind of, but it's gonna go in the oven so it don't matter. So I'm crumbling it up in here. I'm just letting y'all know I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, some crumbling little, it might be a little crumb, crumb little, but that's okay, like I said. That'll all work. Next, I'm gonna take, I put my chicken, yeah, like so. I should have grabbed the biggest pieces first. I don't know why I did not do that. I'm gonna put the little pieces on the top, or whatever. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. Take this back out. I'm not being funny towards you, P. 
piece of chicken. I'm sorry. I'll come back for you. And um, then I'm going to repeat what I just did with the sauce. Just spread it around a little bit. All right. The chicken. Don't have to be doused in it. Just covered. Okay. Um, I'm going in with Kobe Jack cheese. Covering that chicken. It was supposed to have been a stuffed chicken, but the way I cut the chicken breast, uh, I didn't cut them right. Some sides were too thin. Some, uh, some was uh, not enough. So I just, you know, I'm gonna repeat it again, y'all. These on the top. Actually, we got enough room for that. And I'm going in with my sauce. So it, it'll almost be like stuff, basically, because they land on top of each other. Just a little. Y'all, this oats, y'all may be like, why is she putting oats in it? Y'all, oats does wonders, okay? Oats also gives it flavor. It just thickens it just right. It don't seem like no type of thin type of sauce. Do this like this. Since it wanna act funny, this brown sugar. Just sprinkle it across the top. Matter of fact, just like so. I should have, if I knew this, I was going, I should have got me a fresh bag. I didn't know this brown sugar did it, but like Terrell knew because he made my uh, famous peanut butter cookies last. And uh, I'm going to do it like this. There it go. And that's enough. And if I got to spread it over like I'd like. And the cheese, y'all, it's just a simple, something, something simple. Um, I'm gonna place this in the oven. The oven is already preheated at 350. Uh, I'll probably leave it in here about 13 minutes. Probably 13. 13 to say 15 minutes. Got some sour cream to add on this, y'all. Uh, could have did green onions, but whatever. And this is going in the oven. So here we are, you all. My cheesy chicken. Cheesy chicken. And, uh, see how that is? Hmm. And I, 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 want, I, I ain't gonna lie, I want that fat one at the bottom, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off the top. Uh, my chicken fail, y'all. Hold on. You know what? I'm doing. I kind of want to like slice it. Like, see the cheese on there, y'all. The cheesy chicken and sauce. Cheesy chicken and sauce. That's what it turned out to be. I ain't gonna lie. It turned out to be a cheesy chicken and sauce. Cheese on there. And. Uh, Oh, let go, let go, let go, and right now. I want some sauce over here. A little sauce. And I'm gonna put a little sauce on my, and then I'm gonna put some Parmesan on it. Some Parmesan! Mmm. Look at that Call. cheese. Ma, mm. look, I'll do it. Mmm. What was that? Parmesan. Poor little Tina. That's how it looks. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna slice it with a spoon instead of a fork. Mm. See that? That chicken. Oh, the cheese sticking on there. Hold on, I'm trying not to. See that? I'm about to eat it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my, my, my. There it is, you all. Very simple, easy meal. 
to make for your family. Even teenagers can do this. Y'all might want to do this for your mom for Valentine's Day. Make her some, some uh, chicken breast, just fry them on each side for about four or five minutes. Um, I fried them with egg and uh, chicken uh, fried batter from Louisiana. I um, put the Prego sauce in, a, ro a roasted garlic herb, but I added my own uh, touch of brown sugar and um, oats. Tastes good, y'all. Um, it's, it's got a little sweet kick to it, like, but my spaghetti tastes like that too. I like my spaghetti too. Sometimes you need to put sugar in your, um, spaghetti or type of spaghetti sauces so you gonna have that much acidity in it. I have all that heartburn and stuff, but it takes the, uh, flavor of, a uh, this bland salt taste away. But it's just a sweet, sweet, um, cheesy taste to this chicken and it's so good and y'all I'm telling you I ain't gonna lie I would have put some sour cream on it but I looked at that dog on sour cream and it said expired January 6th so dang I ain't I'm gonna mess around I'm gonna mess around with it and uh like I said I put my cheese on there I need a fork here's my fork I'm sitting here using a spoon torturing myself and uh, I put it in the oven for 15 minutes oh Mm-hmm. that cheese, y'all. It's good. Enjoy. Love you all. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.